Alright guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be learning how to bypass this uh, stupid issue of we all know this issue, so that's why we are watching this video. Alright, so in this tutorial, I'll be learning how to bypass this. Um, to, to show you this is um, real, I'm actually running Windows 11 on my computer right now, but as you can see, this shows that my processor isn't uh, supported, blah, 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 blah. So, um, for you to know if your your computer is compatible with Windows 11 requirements, all you need to do is go to this website. I'll leave the link in the, des in the description below. Go to this website. I mean, the Microsoft website, obviously. Um, go to this website and scroll all the way down. Scroll all the way down. You should get something like this. Check for compatibility. Um, if you are running Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, yours should look, look like this. I'm running Windows 11 already, so I wouldn't get that. I would get something like this. But yours should look something like this. Alright, so um, all you need to do is download this PC Health Check app. All you need to do is download this app. Um, and if you also want to know the requirements, you can click on this. You should be taken to this page. So here are the requirements, but that's just by the way. So um, I've downloaded mine and I've installed mine. So here is mine. It just should look like this. Um, I'm actually running an old PC. Um, as you can see, now is the wage. I'm running 12 gigs, 12 gigs of RAM. That's just by the way. So all you need to do is just click on this. Check now. So you'll be, you'll be told if your PC is compatible with Windows 11 system requirement. As you can see, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements, as you can see from here. But I'm actually running, I'm running Windows 11 already, as you can see. So all we need to do is um, run just a simple script. It's just a simple script. All you need to do is just run a simple script. So I'm going to just close this off and just open up my... So... Here's the script. I'll actually leave the link in the description also so you can download that. And all you need to do is right click on this script, then run as administrator. Click on yes and wait for some seconds. You should get a pop up saying press any key. You have four seconds, so all you need to do is press on any key, and that is it, guys. That is just it. All you need to do is just press on any key on your keyboard within five seconds of the pop-up of that um, of that command line screen, and that is it. That should fix your problem. So now let's um, let's check that out again because I've actually um, okay. I wanted to do something before, but that's just by the way. So um, all you need to do is um, mount your Windows 11. On your computer or if you for made it a, a bootable flash drive already i don't know if you understand what i'm saying i'm just saying rubbish right now if if you've made um a flash drive bootable using windows 11 i hope that makes sense um okay so for this case i do not have a flash drive so i might just mount it on my computer and just show you for this example so i have Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 7, but that's not by the way. That's that's by the way. I have Windows 11 here, so I'm gonna just mount mine on my laptop right here. So I've mounted mine on my laptop right here. So I'm gonna just run the setup and click on yes. So we just wait and just see the magic. Right. So we are waiting for the installation screen of the Windows Server. Almost done up, just some seconds. Alright, checking your PC. This should be the regular step. Um it should it should perform. Um if yours isn't done, you should get the error message we got at the beginning of the video. But as you can see, you are getting a few things. We are getting a few things ready. So that means it's worked. So that means it's worked. So let's just wait for some minutes and 
as you can see guys as you can see this this just worked this just worked so all you need to do is click on that script and just press any key on your keyboard for it to bypass so as you can see i can click on accept and here we are you are good to go as you can see choose as you can see guys as you can see guys so it's it's pretty easy so um if if i would want to keep my file settings and application i'll just install this windows 11 update i could just do, do this for me or if i want to keep just my files not just the application i can select this and there you go or if i just want to install a fresh clean windows 11 setup i can just click on nothing and and there you go guys so there you go guys i wouldn't want to make this video the lengthy one uh, i believe it's the lengthy one already this six minutes already all right so i wouldn't want to make this video very lengthy so that's just it guys all you need to do is click on um the script and just press any key within five seconds for it to just bypass the tpm issue requirements for any kind of old laptop you are running on or old computer that doesn't support tpm and the old um Windows 11 system requirements. I hope this video helped you guys. So, um, if you find this video helpful, please kindly consider subscribing, hit the like button, share this video so other people like you can get to know of this script. Um, so, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if this video is helpful, please comment. If you are finding any difficulties in any area, in any stage of by passing this please feel free by dropping your comment in the comment section i'll be so glad to help you guys out and thank you once again for watching my video i'll see you guys in my next video peace out